Alright, it looks like we are good to go. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I am your host, Adam. I am, uh, well, now I can officially say I am one of the Marketplace developers and, uh, you know, fool around with blueprints, landscape foliage, BSPs, materials, stuff like that. And this stream is dedicated towards helping you if you have any questions about said blueprints, landscape foliage, BSPs, materials, stuff like that, uh, in the Unreal Engine. So, um... Very excited. I know. I know it's been a while since we've streamed, and I do apologize. I was seven minutes and not five uh, before we started, but uh, you know, had to get some stuff together. And I am very excited to announce uh, that the uh, blueprint kit bash kit that we were putting together for the past several months has been officially accepted and uh, published onto the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So if you are interested in that, I have added a link in my contact information, I think it was. Uh, let me click over here and find out real quick, just so I can make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Uh, go to channel and make sure I don't annoy myself. Let's see. Mute that. Yeah, it's in, it's in the... Uh, contact section. Uh, so if you are interested in checking that out or uh, anything, make sure to check out the contact section. There is a link there that will link you, uh, I believe my portfolio is in there now, which is going to be updated soon to include it. But if you are interested in the kit bash kit and anything in it, then you can get that on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So yay, we, get, we did it. And uh, I want to give a major thank you to you guys because you uh, you were very motivational and, and helped me to uh, get through this and actually get my first published work, uh, which I am extremely excited about. So I was thinking, and uh, I was like, well, what the f*** do I do now? Because um, that, that's kind of been taking up the, the majority of my time uh, and the lack of streams in the past few weeks other than work getting in the way uh, can, can be a testament to that. I, I put quite a bit of time into it, but I was like, what do we do now? And then it hit me, well, I have a lot of the makings here, uh, and this is the kit, by the way, uh, I have a lot of the makings here for, you know, various types of uh, small games and stuff like that that I could play with, so uh, why the fuck not? Let's make a game, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, we'll do a uh, I'll do a quick run through so you can kind of see what, what all's in here. And then I'm going to actually turn it on its head because I'm not going to be making a side scrolling game. Uh, nor am I going to be making a platformer, actually. But a lot of the stuff in here is very useful to the type of game that I'm thinking about. And I really don't feel like making it again. So uh, we're going to go ahead and play. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to post them in the chat and I will take a look at them. And they do take priority over anything else I'm doing. So. Here we go, we've got our little mobile uh, move through platform kind of thing. So like a platform that you can kind of jump through. Uh, come over here, got our chest interactable that allows us to do this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And, oh, all of them spawned on top of me this time. So they're supposed to spawn within like 100 uh, units or 150 units of this box, but sometimes they all spawn on top of you and you just get the points. This thing, if you jump into it, it does damage to you, uh, life up. Then hitting this thing, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to lose the position, but hitting that thing will kill you. Uh, coins, of course, give lives. In this case, we'll be taking that out. Uh, jump pad, elevator, there's a one-way teleporter in there. Checkpoint right there. Timed elevator. Run over here. Here's the ending to that teleporter. Uh, hit these boxes and you spawn stuff. And it is, uh, it is random. I believe, but you can set them to individual things. Picked up a key here, that opens this door, right over here, there's a blue key, special key, haha. And then right here, we've got these oop, things, which now I can go teleporter. Uh, so run back over, it's, it's a little bit of a long run. Doopy 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 doop. Wait for these. They're kind of like uh, the, the ceiling traps or smashers is what I call them. Uh, two-way teleporter, so if I come out of here and then go back, allows me to do that, then hit this, then boop, and we pop back to the beginning. Okay, so that's all for the overview. 
And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new level. And we're going to call this uh, level one. And we're going to kind of turn everything that I, I, I did in here into a whole nother genre of game. Uh, as opposed to trying to mess with a side scroller, which is, you know, no fun when I've give uh, you know, it's basically, oh, look, it's a side scroller. Uh, let's see, first I want to go ahead and make sure I'm in unlit mode for now. Then we're going to drag a cube. Actually, don't I have template floor? That's what I want. So, got our template floor here. And the first thing I want to do is go ahead and drag the character in. We're going to make a duplicate of this. And we're going to call it uh, BP underscore. Let's go with ISO character. So. The main thing about this character is I am not going to be doing the side scrolling, which if I bring a light in here, when you when I click it, you'll see it pops in and we act as a ISO or as a 2D character. That's not what I want. So let's see, where's my here's my input move right. Go in, edit, project settings. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and update the input buttons. As you can see, we have action mappings and axis mappings. I want to create a new axis mapping. And that's going to be move forward. And one way you can avoid having to do this is use like the third person template or something like that. Uh, in this case, because I'm using that, that kit I had made, uh, I don't have that option. I have to actually make it myself, but it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Negative one. And I might have to switch those, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off to the side. Go into ISO character. And let's do move forward. Access event. Oops. There we go. So now, make that negative one, I think. Wait, I can figure this out. So if we come over here to move right, it has D as a scale of one going down the negative one axis. So forward as a scale of one. Yeah, that should work. Okay, we'll find out. And W is set to jump, so. Go ahead and quickly get rid of that and that. We'll leave jump as spacebar for now, but I'm actually thinking about taking out jump entirely and not giving this character a jump, which I will explain once we get to that. Uh, let's see. And I think I, no, I did. Betcha I constrained the movement to the to the plane here. Uh, let's see. Constraint to plane. Nope. No constraints. OK. 
Okay, so we still have this, but this is not working. Why is this not working? Okay, let's have a look here. Okay. I'd really rather not have to pull in a whole nother character just to be able to do this. Axis mappings, move forward, W and T. So this part is right. I know this part is right. It's something in here. Uh... Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So, we need to go in, duplicate, BP, ISO, GM. And we're going to go into there, and we're going to go, boom. Yep, kit bash controller still fine. Character, though, needs to be ISO character, not our character from thing. Uh, could you up your volume output? Of course, and hello, Malamo. Uh, how are you today? I will see what I can do about upping my volume. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let me know if that fixed it. I'm still trying to figure out this damn headset. So uh, it's taking me a little bit, but um, let me see what I can do here. Open volume mixer. That is on my end, okay. Sounds. Playback, let's see. Where's my microphone volume? Blah, 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 blah. Nope. Control panel, where's my audio? Uh, let's see. Manage audio devices. Oh, this just puts me right back here. Levels. Nope. Uh, that's great, Windows, don't give a shit. Wrong button. Let's see. Click this button. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is microphone audio? I see if there's something I can do in here. Settings, audio. Nope, no keys in there that I can mess with. Uh, that's actually exactly what I was just checking. I was checking OBS to see if there was a, uh, a thing. I will try to talk a little louder. Um, unfortunately, my roommate is actually currently in a D&D &D session and I don't want to interrupt him as well. So, uh, I'll have to kind of balance it a little bit, but I will try to talk a little louder to see if that uh, makes a difference. And there should be something. Real tech audio 